Hey there YouTube, uh, this is an unboxing video. I don't always do these, but I uh, decided to do one today. This here is an emergency light uh, that has replaced the emergency light that I've had for um, a few years now. Finally got... what the heck? Anyways, uh, it, when I installed it, it didn't get a charge or anything. I had done everything correctly. I followed the instructions and nothing happened. So I went and ordered this thing. It just got here about five minutes ago. So we're going to unbox it. And then the second part of this video will be the installation. So let's unbox this thing. came from Amazon, of course. just going to kind of cut this open. Carefully. All right. Get that piece of tape off. Yeah. Ah. All right. Get another piece of tape to undo. Simple. All right. Then of course I cut into the box. Great. Well, here's another box. You can see I made a nice little mighty slit into it. Uh, company, this is a EMR-S-LED light. So let's go ahead and open it up. This little tab thing here. Oh, that works, kind of. Not really. There. Oh, hey, yeah. There we go. That, this makes more sense. Okay. All right. Here's the emergency light. It's an LED one. Looks really nice. Um, so let's take this out. So this is the instructions. We've got wire nuts and screws, which we won't even need the screws or the wire nuts because I have my own. We might use them anyways. All right. Oh, this is this is gonna be fun. Sarcasm. So here's the light. Looks very nice. Got the test switch here. Ready light there. It's a little smaller than my other one, but it should work. Um, all right. So I'm gonna kind of zoom out here. So this is everything. This is the light, everything. So now that we have it unboxed, uh, stay tuned for the installation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. I'll show you what's inside. And then I have to cut out some... I have to cut out some slits in the back for the screws. So this is it's going to be fun. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right, so I have it open after cutting myself. Stupid thing. This, these uh, clips are kind of hard to get off when you first uh, open it up. So here's the back of it. You got the battery in here, which is a lot smaller than the other battery, and a lot more secure. Your charging board's over here. And this is the back of the thing. So what I have to do is you can see there's these indentations in here. I have to cut them out, or cut at least some of them out. And we're going to figure out what fits and what. We're going to take this downstairs and we'll figure out what's going to fit, what won't fit, and which ones we have to cut out, and so on and so forth. So, all right. So, moving on. Okay, so now we're in my room. Here's the little back plate to it, like I was showing you. I have uh, the wire hole punched out, and I have the two screw punches that I'm going to need all cut out right now. So now we're going to install it. I have my power cord, which is, yeah, it's a three prong, has a three prong end to it. And then it has bare ends on the other. The black ones are hot, 120 volts or 110 in this case. Uh, your white is your neutral and then your green is your ground wire. Now here in the back plate, I had this for the other emergency light, and, and it'll work for this one as well. 
um, has two screws on it, in which that's where the back plate's going to attach to. And then you can see there's a third screw right there, which is a screw that I bought uh, because this thing lacked a ground screw and it's a metal box. So we're just going to use a uh, simple machine screw as our grounding screw. So without further ado, we're going to attempt to get this done. Hopefully this one is a, this one, uh, the last time I installed the, the other one, it was actually pretty simple. So hopefully this one will be just as easy. We'll see though. All right, well, let me adjust the camera so I can get the chair over here because I do need to. Okay. So I'm gonna need my Phillips screwdriver. Actually, before I do anything, ow. Okay. Power cord. So the first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is we're going to loop the extension cord into the bottom of the back of the junction box. So it's going to go like this. And there you go. So that's what we're going to do first because that's its power connection and it's very important of course. There. So zoom in just a couple touches. All right. Now. I got wire nuts back here, and I do have a couple extra screws, but I don't think I'm going to need them. If I do, then I'll use them. Wire nuts, or three of them, I mean. One of them to cap it off, this little yellow one, and then two orange ones. This yellow one's going to cap off the 277 wire that we don't need. Okay, so first things first is we have to make the connection. So black to black, white to white, and ground to the metal screw that I've been talking about. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ground the box. Now, this is not difficult. So all we do, it's already bent. I already have it bent from the last time. We're just going to attach it here to the grounding screw, like that. All right. So black to black. That's the first connection we're going to make. This is 120 volt AC wire. It's going to go to the, mm, I don't need those, I don't think. It's going to go right here. Be sure they're together. I'm going to wire not them in place sure they don't go anywhere. You don't want that hot connection to break loose. I'll make our neutral connection next. I'll make adjustments if necessary and of course most importantly make sure that there's no power coming into these wires before you do these connections, which is quite obvious. You would not want that. But make sure these wire nuts are nice and tightened down make sure, so that when you pull on them, they don't go anywhere. Nothing comes loose. All right. Lastly, now this is the more stubborn one. I'm actually going to thread this up through here because it's more stubborn. We're going to take this little capping wire like that, and that's about as about as good as it gets. Let's see, it, it just comes off pretty easily. Next, okay, hold on. Let me get this on there. Don't go anywhere. All right, so next we're going to attempt to get these screws in. Now we're going to take one out. Screw you. How is this thing still rolling? All right, our wire connections are done. So next thing is we're going to screw the uh, plate onto the onto the junction box. We'll just set it back here. 
Lie, lest you keep doing this to me. Lie, 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 lie. Alright, and so now we're going to start by hand threading these screws in. So I'm going to hand thread this in. Well, we're going tight to tighten this down, but we need this screw next. So we can secure the other side down. It's not fitting as well as I would like it to. That's the issue. That's why we can adjust some things. That should work. Alright. Our connections are made. The back plate is on. So now we have everything connected except for the power, of course. So we're going to align the snaps together. And it should snap right on. Make sure we do this correctly. Snap to snap. Apply power to it. Should work. Voila!